Virgo. Happy Monday to you. I hope I get this uploaded on the Monday night. Uh, thank you so much for clicking here, Virgo. I do appreciate you. If you're someone who's brand, brand new and you've never been here before, welcome. Welcome to Ten of Cups Tarot. I hope that you'll be in the comments. And although I know, Virgo, you're not very chatty in the comments, it's okay. You can always give me a silent thumbs up if you enjoy the content and don't want to talk about it. But I'm always there. I'm in the comments if you'd like to be there. If you are my ride or die, you are the Virgo ride or die who is uh, coming here to either crosswatch or you are a Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. I'm just going to thank you for doing that. I do appreciate you so, so much. Let's find out what's coming up. Oh, this week we're going to do two hands, Virgo. So a couple weeks ago I did three hands. You guys really seem to like that. So I'm going to do two different hands. So we're going to use two different decks. And uh, sometimes these two hands that I throw, they will relate to each other and sometimes they won't. So let's find out what's going on for you. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what's coming up for Virgo in the week ahead. Virgo, my readings are always for the week ahead. So um, if you uh, find a reading um, and it's older, it's always going to be for the week ahead, um, whether you find it today, tomorrow, or next year. Tell me about Virgo, please. Virgo, there is something coming up that is going to give you great clarity. There is a, a new conversation. Someone is about to open a conversation or you might be opening a conversation with someone else. There's messages here. We have the uh, King of Pentacles, that's you. And then we have the Six of Wands. Look, you're going to get some really big victory here in the week ahead, I feel. Um, some sort of really big victory is coming because you're about to get some clarity. Someone's going to open a conversation with you, and it might have to do with money. Like, I mean, the King of Pentacles is here, right? That is your, your energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like you're going to get some victory in some sort of conversation, and it could be about your pentacle world, um, anything in your pentacle world, your job, your home, your family, your children, your car, maybe you're buying or selling something. Um, it feels like there is an opportunity that arrives here. Uh, and it might be uh, a call. Um, I feel like it's a phone call because swords to me is always like we're speaking to each other. Um, but there, you're going to feel victorious. You're going to feel like I've been waiting for this for so long and now I can step over the finish line. That's what it feels like, Virgo. We've got um, the Two of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Knight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have um, the Death card in the reverse and the Ten of Swords. Death card in the reverse is avoiding change. It's, um, it's avoiding the transformation, avoiding the ending. That is the future energy for me. So I feel like um, it... I feel as though this could be something about finances. Look, I feel like that maybe you've been waiting on someone to call you about something that has to do with finances. The Two of Pentacles is here. It's kind of being in the struggle and the juggle, right? Trying to keep your balance. Things are very busy. Maybe you've got more than one job. Money's not coming in very free-flowing. I feel like that's about to change because the Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. It does feel like there is... I want to say that somebody made a decision about something and it might have been something like, no, we're not choosing you. We've already picked another candidate for the job, Virgo. Or um, it feels like somebody is reneging what they said before. I want to say it's like they're they're taking the victory from someone else and saying, no, it should have been with Virgo. Um, it's like somebody reassesses or goes over it. So it could be a reassessment of taxes. It could be a reassessment of um, something that is legal. We've got swords here. Um, but it feels like they're coming back to you about it. Like it's like maybe they hired the person they thought was the best person for the job, but it didn't work. So now they're coming to you. And I don't mean to say that you're second choice. I mean to say that they should have picked you all along. And it might have been like a back and forth, a back and forth about whether or not we should hire Virgo or not. And I think they ended up giving it to someone else. But I feel like this person ended up being a bit flighty. The person who they picked ended up being someone who wasn't very stable, who couldn't show up on time, who wasn't very dependable. It feels like that. And so they probably should have hired you. Um, they probably should have been the one that you, they picked. They should have picked you at the beginning and they didn't. But I think it's coming back to you. And I think you're going to get some sort of communication here. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. <clears throat> For Virgo. We do have justice. 
It might be something legal. It might be something that was going on in the background that was legal that was not said in your favor, but somebody might appeal it or there might be an appeal that's coming or maybe you did appeal it, but you didn't think it would work. But there is some sort of um, karmic balance or something legal is coming into balance for you. Something is going to be said in your favor. The truth is coming out here with the... Um, with the Justice card, she is holding the Ace of Swords, right? And the Ace of Swords is here. So I feel like something is being said in your favor. Something that is, is um, wow. I really feel like the next the week ahead here, Virgo, is look at this energy here. It's a leap of faith. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. You've got the um, the World card. And you have, you have uh, the Justice card. You are getting justice in something that you thought you would never get justice in. In fact, I think that they, they overlooked you or they overlooked something. Somebody's reassessing taxes or payments or uh, a legal thing. Something is being said in your favor and the truth is coming out finally. You thought that you lost this, but I don't think that you did. And I think that for some of you, if it involves money, you're going to get a big payout. You're going to end up getting being the person who gets a really big payout. Something is coming to an end here. Right, something is coming to an end here. So the world card is here. Something's wrapping up, coming full circle, and it is fortunate. Like it feels like it. It is something that is a milestone or an achievement. Something that you that you really wished for that you felt sort of deflated when it didn't happen the way you wanted it to happen. But I think that it's like it was still in negotiation. There was a lot of people looking at the situation, giving it attention, and somebody caught something. That's what it feels like here. And now they're coming back to you and telling you that it's time for you to take a leap of faith here. So we do have the world card, and then we have the fool. So when something ends, something must begin. The ace of pentacles is going to change your life, my friend. I really do feel like if you are not feeling like the king of pentacles, grounded, sturdy, stable, dependable, somebody who's got money in the bank, somebody who doesn't have to worry about it, I feel like this is coming for you here. Tell me what the victory is, please, for Virgo. So I feel like there is something here that you've been waiting on. And uh, we have the star. It is a manifestation or it's something that you hoped would work out in your favor. But I feel like you've been spending a lot of time being stuck in swords. I feel like part of your part of your journey is um, to stabilize yourself mentally, right? We do have stability in the fours and we have the four of swords here. Somebody here is, um, there's three swords here and then she has one in the hand. One in the hand is the ace of swords. And that's what sort of started out your reading. I feel like that the initial assessment of whatever it was was not in your favor and it feels like you're about to say something but you don't have to because here's the the healing the star right it is the um it's manifestation, it's good luck, it's having hope and I feel like you're kind of up in your head when this arrives that you are stuck when this when this comes when this uh this truth or whatever is being decided in your favor, whenever it arrives, I feel like you are stuck in your head. I think through all of it, though, that you've really remained optimistic, I'm going to say, that you're like, no, no, that's not the right answer. I'm sure that something else has got to go down here. Tell me what's arriving. Because I feel like with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, you've got a boomerang going on here. Something that was disconnecting from you or something you thought wasn't going to work out or was uh, given to someone else is coming back here. We do have the King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody really fought for you here. Um, a lot of swords. It really feels like somebody fought for you here. Look, I've I've been in middle management most of my life. And sometimes when you're doing a hiring process, sometimes they disagree, right? When you have many people who are, are interviewing the same person, um, sometimes they have disagreements. I feel like there was one person in the group of people, if this is a job, that was really fighting for you. And I don't know if this is someone that you know, but they are a king of swords. And when the king of swords shows up in reverse, they're kind of belligerent, cantankerous. Don't tell me what to do. This is what's going to go down like this person is really fighting for you and um they're like virgo knows they know what they're doing the person virgo is open to learning to do whatever we want virgo to do and i feel like this person was kind of worried that it wasn't going to work out that this was the end of it but it feels like somebody was really in your corner someone that you don't know was really in your corner they really liked you in the interviewing process tell me about the night please We've got the Six of Pentacles, we've got the Five of Swords, and um, we've got the, the the Ace of Cups here. So I do feel that the person that they um, 
that they did that they did uh, hire or uh, hired for the position, I feel is somebody who was very good in the interview, but somebody who is not so agreeable. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's somebody who who I feel like I feel like the, the Knight of Wands is telling me it's somebody who thinks they're a hot shot, somebody who thinks because they're good looking or, um, you know, someone who moves through a project really quick or so, I feel like this person thought that they were a hot shot. They thought that it was theirs. It was in the bag. And I think that it's ego is what it is. I think I think it's ego that got this person tossed out and um we've got uh, the ace of cups here i feel like they love the position and they were giving uh, giving and getting good reciprocity but i feel it like ultimately it's their ego that pushed them out of the way and now we've got the five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck so it does feel to me like it's it's something that's going on in the pentacle world um something that you really wanted is about to come through for some of you truth is coming out in a legal situation and you're winning money but if this is a job i feel like this job you applied for pays a whole lot more than what you were making and it's about to be yours yeah you're waiting on some sort of decision somebody really liked you somebody really liked your tenacity your leadership that they really liked um that you are and you are you are quite quite spiritual psychic they felt almost like you were an intuitive leader that's what it feels like and so i feel that you were waiting and waiting to hear from them and they didn't choose you at first i feel like they're coming back for you and whether you think that that is the you know sloppy seconds or whatever it is I mean, it is what it is. You're going to think what you want. But I really feel like this is um, something that you're super excited about because of the Queen of Wands. I think you're super excited about running at this thing. That's what it feels like here. We have the Death card in the reverse. <laughs> It's something that it's something that you will really love. Um, it's something that you would choose to do given the choice. But it feels like um, you're going to have to um, be. Uh, malleable. I feel like you're going to have to learn to be flexible. We've got the death card in the reverse and I feel like you're not willing to change or you've been holding off change or maybe you thought nothing would change. It could be that too but I feel like whatever this job is here that it is something that you really really love. A place where you can grow for quite some time my friend. So we have Virgo energy, we have Scorpio energy, we've got Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Um, we have uh, Aquarius energy, we have Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We have uh, Justice, which is Libra. We have Aries, uh, nope, sorry, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There we go. Let's get another deck. What else do we need to tell Virgo, please? What else does Virgo need to know? Tell me what else Virgo needs to know. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead. Virgo, if you're interested in a private read, please know that I have pinned um, some information to the top of the comments below this video. And all the information is there for you to get yourself over to Wizio if you'd like to book an appointment. Tell me what's going on with Virgo, please, in the week ahead. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Virgo. We do have the Two of Pentacles, a decision being made in the Pentacle world. I feel like it's your decision. I feel like it's something that you need to decide. We have the Ace of Swords, sort of a repeat of the last reading, yeah? <laughs> the Ace of Swords. And we have the Knight of Cups. Oh, it's about romance, my friend. So I feel like there is a decision that's coming up that you need to make. It is in your pentacle world. It almost feels like you're going to make this decision while you're face to face with someone that you have a lot of feelings for. And I say face to face because of the two of pentacles. The Ace of Swords is here. It's almost like you have some sort of a realization or a download or, or some sort of clarity about making a decision, making a choice, something that's going to give you a little bit of balance and help you live in the present moment. So we have the um, the Ace of Swords here. It could be a new conversation that you're opening a new conversation with someone that you may have some feelings for. The Knight of Cups is here. It's like you're feeling you're feeling romantic about this person. You're feeling. Um, it feels like you've been taking your time. Like, I want to say this is the passive night. So this is the one who is taking their time and being very careful. Very careful because usually they're depicted on the back of a horse with, you know, a cup, a goblet in their hand full of emotion. And so this person doesn't want to take a chance to spill anything. This person is kind of the passive energy, but they're very careful about the way they 
say things, the way they present the things they're going to say, right? Oh, the Emperor's here. We have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Cups. I want to say that you're probably the Emperor energy. I feel like maybe it's you that is taking charge of the situation. I feel, I'll say this, if you are the masculine leaning energy, if you're the person who is mostly masculine but has a little bit of feminine energy, I feel like you're the person who's going to be taking charge of the situation. And it's not that feminines can't, it's just that this particular energy is predominantly masculine energy and um, also has feminine energy though. So that's why the Emperor can be masculine or feminine. But I feel like if you're the one with the masculine energy, I feel like you're the one that's stepping forward. It does feel like there is something that you've been quiet about. You haven't really told this person, but you want to give them reciprocity. But instead of just giving them verbal reciprocity, I think this time you want to tell them that you have feelings for them here. Something has been slowly growing. It feels like something has been slowly growing here. And um, the emperor, I feel, is is very interested in the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is somebody who, of course, is feminine leaning, mostly feminine, but also has masculine energy, feminine or masculine. And it does feel like the, the Queen of Cups energy is very deep and psychic, someone who is a good parent or wants to be a parent. Um, it feels like this person is somebody who is, yeah, very, very emotionally deep. And so are you. So I think that, you know, you being the watcher and not the talker necessarily, I feel like you love to listen to this person. Like you love to dive deep with this person. I feel like you've been feeling this person has had their themselves closed off to you. Or maybe they haven't been so receptive. Maybe you've been dropping hints and they haven't really been so receptive with the hints. But I think you're about to be very direct. That's what the Ace of Swords is. I feel like you're about to be super direct with somebody that I think that you've been kind of going back and forth in your head about. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. We do have the justice. You will. <laughs> the truth is coming out. So I feel like you are going to be telling someone how you feel about them in the week ahead, possibly. Yeah, maybe you're going to be taking them out and talking to them about what their aspirations are for the future. Um, are they looking forward to a commitment? Um, is this you know, is this person operating from the higher self? Like, it has to be someone who is compatible with you, right? A lot of people think you look good, I look good, you know, we meet, we have a few drinks, we have fun, and so we must be compatible. It's not the way it works. I feel like you're moving a way slower at it than that. I want to say that you've been very careful uh, to pick the right person. And um, this Hierophant energy, it could be someone who is a Taurus that you're interested in. It doesn't have to be. It could be Libra. Um, you could have Aries energy. Maybe they're an Aries. Take it as it as it resonates for you. But the Hierophant energy with the Three of Cups tells me that um, that there is a very happy celebratory time coming up where you're about to get your justice. And so I feel like whoever you like likes you. I want to say this. Um, the Hierophant energy is uh, somebody who is thinking about it from a different place other than you look good, I look good, we must be compatible. This is someone who is looking at things from the higher self. So is this person spiritual? Are they religious? Is this person somebody who... Um, who thinks with their heart and their soul, or are they thinking in the pentacle world? I feel like you're really slowly uh, sort of analyzing somebody <clears throat> to see if they really are the person that you want. Tell me about the, um, the Knight of Cups, please. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Death card, and we have the Star. So I want to say that you're about to be vulnerable, very vulnerable with somebody here, because the Star is about vulnerability. The Four of Cups is about being not, not very verbal, not very vulnerable, shut off, shut down, miserly. But the Death card is here. That's transforming. So I like it. I feel like you are feeling that you are going to be very vulnerable about your feelings with somebody here. And I think that previously you were kind of shut off and shut down. The Four of Cups is about not really sharing your energy, right? We've got the Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Although it's stable energy, it's a place where you're really not sharing much, right? So I feel like um, what's coming to an end here, the Four of Cups is coming to an end with the Death card. I feel like you're about to be vulnerable where you weren't before. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, we've got the Sun, and we've got um, the Page of Pentacles. This could be someone that you work with. It could be someone who is in the work environment um, that you 
that you felt like it wasn't appropriate maybe to share your feelings with, I feel like you've had some sort of a breakthrough. I want to say that it is time for you to begin something new. The Page of Pentacles is, I feel like you're going to ask this person out. I feel like you want to see them face to face. I feel like you're ready to grow. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, it can be about the workplace, but it also is about um, self-mastery. It's like you really want to build something. You're ready to put the hard work in. I feel like you were feeling closed off and shut down and not really feeling like you could share your feelings. But I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles and the Sun, it's telling me that you're really having an awareness, a realization that you really want to work on something. Um, the Page of Pentacles here is trying to keep their balance, right? So I feel like you are going to go at it slowly and you're going to take one step, get your balance. Take the next step, get your balance. So I feel like it's going to go really slowly for you, but I feel like the Queen of Cups and the Emperor, I feel like you're embodying the Emperor energy. So somebody who's kind of bossed up, somebody who will step forward first, um, somebody who usually gets what they want. Um, I feel like you are approaching this Queen of Cups energy here. Yeah, you really uh, do have some big feelings. So you, you have a feeling that this person is your soulmate, right? We do have... Um, we do have the uh, lover's card here and the king of cups. So listen, soulmate energy is very easy. It's like back and forth energy. It's not hard. It's not game playing. It's not I'm going to make you wait five days before I text you back. It's someone who is going to pursue. So I feel like you are going to be the one who is about to pursue the queen and you're not into gameplay. You're not into playing games at all. That you feel like this is a really easy relationship. It feels like you are very connected to this person energetically, psychically, possibly, emotionally. You feel very connected to them. And I feel like it starts it starts with friendship and turns to love. That's what it feels like. So it definitely could be um, what I was talking about here. It definitely, we could be talking about the... Um, uh, the workplace romance, somebody that maybe you've met on a work, like on a contract, or maybe you did work with them, or maybe you still do. But I feel like you have realized here that this person is somebody who is very attractive to you. And I don't think it's just that they are attractive on the outside. I feel like their energy, right? We got the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, we've got the Lovers, we've got the um, Knight of Cups. It's all about cups. It feels like it's very emotional, and you feel very connected to them emotionally. I think you're going to ask them out. I feel like they're going to say yes because the Hierophant is here with the Three of Cups. I feel like they're going to say yes and you're going to get your justice. So I feel like um, you will get your moment to have reciprocity with this person. Yeah, you are going to take a leap of faith here. And it's an impromptu leap of faith. So I feel like you're going to talk to this person face to face. It's not going to be a text conversation. It's going to be, can I take you out? You're going to see them face to face in the pentacle world. And I feel like what they don't see coming, I feel like you're going to be really fun and flirty and very... Um, um, I'm going to say vulnerable. I feel like you're going to be really vulnerable, that you're ready to take the leap of faith with somebody here. It does feel like that's what's coming up in the week ahead for you, Virgo. Let's find out what we're dealing with in signs here. We've got Taurus. We've got Gemini, Aquarius. We've got Scorpio energy, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. Uh, we've got your energy, Virgo. We've got... Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Aries. Um, we have Libra energy. We have more Aries energy. Aquarius energy. All right. I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Virgo, I do appreciate you. I'm going to go for now. You take care. I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. Bye-bye.